The killing of George Floyd sparked worldwide protests against racism and the excessive use of force by police. Derek Chauvin, who knelt on Floyd's neck for over nine minutes, was found guilty of murder. Find the defendant guilty. But Chauvin was only one of four officers charged in Floyd's death. Who were the other three police officers and what did they do that day? Chauvin, a 45-year-old white man with nearly two decades of experience on the Minneapolis police force, was the most senior officer of the four. Tu Tao had served for nearly 11 years, and both Thomas Lane and J. Alexander King were in their first week on the job. Chauvin had served as a field training officer to both Lane and King, responsible for their training and their evaluation. They were the first to arrive on the scene, responding to a 911 report of a counterfeit bill. Thomas Lane, a 38-year-old white man, approaches Floyd as he sits in the driver's seat of a car and pulls out his gun within seconds. Sixteen seconds later, he holsters the weapon and asks Floyd to step out of the car. With help from King, he handcuffs Floyd. J. Alexander King, age 27, is the youngest and the only black officer of the four. All right, what's your name? It's George. George? George Beard Floyd. King questions Floyd for about two minutes. And you know why we pulled you out of the car? Because you was not listening to anything we told you. Right, but I didn't know what was going on. You listened to us and we will tell you what's going on. Ouch! Ouch, you Are you on something right now? Lane and King then walk Floyd to their patrol car on the other side of the intersection. Once there, they struggle to get Floyd into the back seat of the vehicle. This is when Derek Chauvin and partner Tu Tao arrive on the scene. Tu Tao, who is 35, American, is American, had a history of he misconduct six with six complaints, complaints on his, on his record, record five and a past lawsuit for use of and excessive one was force. still under investigation. After Lane pulls Floyd through the car, King and Chauvin drag him to the ground. Come on out. This is when the actions of each officer, as King and Chauvin what they did and did Floyd not do, become critical. They pin Floyd face down on the ground. Lane restrains Floyd's legs, while King kneels on his back, and Chauvin kneels with his knee on Floyd's neck an arrangement illustrated in a diagram shown during Chauvin's trial. Tao does not restrain Floyd, instead standing between the three officers and bystanders. After about five and a half minutes, Lane asks if they should roll Floyd onto his side. Roll him on the side? He is the only officer of the three who questions Chauvin's actions. Look at him. Tao continues to keep back the bystanders calling for the officers to release Floyd. Two minutes later, Lane asks again if they should move Floyd. King then checks for Floyd's pulse. None of the officers intervene or administer medical care. Paramedics arrive on the scene about eight minutes after Floyd was pulled to the ground. They move him into the ambulance, and Lane rides along to the hospital. You want one of us to ride with? Yeah. Floyd was pronounced dead later that night. In the days after Floyd's death, all four officers were fired and then arrested. Chauvin was convicted of murder and sentenced to over 22 years in prison. In a federal civil rights trial, Tao, Lane, and King were charged with depriving Floyd of medical care, and Tao and King were charged with failing to intervene. The former officers told the court they trusted Chauvin had things under control and that they did not know he was acting unlawfully.